Those, yeah. those hills, we were gone. We were out of the convoy. But it was only three of us. Guys making their debut. And I actually reckon it's a pretty good deal. They'll present you your jerseys for tomorrow. They're new special ones. Feeling pretty good, nice weather compared to town in Melbourne and um, we've got a really good team with us so just got to make sure we ride smart and um, hopefully get a good result. Race here about five weeks ago, um, it's pretty hard, um, yeah it's got some nice bergs and it's going to challenge a lot of the riders, see if some sprinters can get around, um, on paper not many sprinters are here. So it should be good for the break, um, hopefully we can get some boys up there. Angus made some really good rice cakes with um, blueberries and um, chocolate in them and we have parchment lined foil which we didn't know you could get but Angus sources it. B4. Brownie. Then we've got BB for banana bread and I don't know what the rice cakes are. Uh, I'm using the talk gels. Um, got five caffeinated gels and then just one non-caffeinated so should be buzzing for the finish to get Chris up. How many times have you been to the toilet this morning so far? Um, quite a few times, probably about four. Mm. Hydrating. Nero KOM. <laughs> Nero KOM, financial advice. Hashtag, income financial, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> said last night, let's just rip in from the beginning. Look, I think these first 20 Ks, it's gonna be one of these situations where everyone thinks they are Peter Sagan and you know, Benny and I were just saying like they think they've been training hard, they think they're fresh, so it's just going to be hell for leather. Let's work in pairs in the beginning, um, so if we want to maybe pair up with me and Angus going, Seb and, Seb and Sammy going, um, and Benny. Seb, Seb, Sammy and Benny. Seb, Sammy and Benny. Yeah. Okay. So, so like alternating. Alternating, yeah, because this is one, I don't think, correct, line. yeah. You know, so once you have made that move across and that comes back, if it comes back then, you know, it's Sammy's next, that kind of thing. Quick, the other quick thing I wanted to say is, like, obviously the usual stuff, we hear race as a team and we know all that kind of shit, right? right like, but sorry. more that, um, you know, there's a lot of people who help us get here and we owe it to them today to bloody well put on a good show. This is an opportunity, let's not waste it, okay? Because there's a lot of people who make sacrifices to get us here. Huh? Apart from that, you know what we're doing to bike race, let's go win it. Hooray!
What do you think, Chris? Oh, fucking chain dropped. Fuck. We're about 40 k's into the bike race. We've had a pretty exciting first 40 k's for us in the team car. Um, we've had two flats already. We had Calder flatting in the neutral zone and then we've had Miller flat. Long chase for Miller, unfortunately, because he had the issue going up the climb. The peloton was a bit split. There was a few guys everywhere, so it's been hard for him to get back on. He looks like he's almost back on now, going up what it looks like is the third climb. You want us to wait? into the race um, we've had probably 25 mechanicals um, everything from a broken cassette to punctures a stag in my cassette it's fucking jammed no I can't actually use it so yeah we're all in the front group now the lead group of three have about two minutes on the peloton with about 50 60 k's to go so um, can't really see them staying away unless the peloton really sits up now
20 k's to go. Um, it's been a war of attrition all day, and we've got a group of two off the front, Ryan Cavanagh and Aiden Tuvey still, and then a group of seven chasing, with uh, all the big teams represented pretty much. And in there we've got Ben Van Dam, who's our big GC man for the weekend, and they're about 50 seconds behind the two off the front, so we're hoping they can he can either close this down or Chris Powell sitting pretty happy in the uh, peloton. So if it all comes back together, hopefully Powell can get up for a spin. Video. <laughs> None of this. Oh. I said well done first. Yeah, that's all right. Top 10. Well done. Seeing you go yeah, up that. Really? <laughs> seeing you go up on the last KLM was just amazing. I feel easy a bit. No, <laughs> it looked easy. How do you go? Eight. Oh, man. So you're about 40 odd seconds behind. I thought we were done. Yeah, I didn't think we were. Got into a dog. It took yeah. a lap and a half to get back. I've those yeah. those hills, we were gone. We were out of the convoy. But it was only three of us, really. I went. Yep. Um, got across solo, yep. just before the top or yep. over the top. Yep. Yep. Um, got across over the top. Then we were all working quite well together, <coughs> getting regular time tracks in the front two. They were coming back um, reasonably quickly. They were two minutes when we started. And then I think they were just under 50 seconds, maybe, with a 5k to go. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we all just kept working well together until 1k to go. And then I jumped on Feinstein's wheel, uh, got pushed off. Um, and pretty much into a barrier, but I didn't go in to the barrier, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, just had a sprint and started cramping a bit, but that's all right. You should have just only got the flat in the neutral zone. Yeah. Just gone, you know what? I had a bad feeling about this. I did? Yeah. Right. Okay. And then I was riding my gear skip and I was like, that's weird. And then I started pedaling and there was no engagement. I was like, something's wrong. What do you want, Tom? And then it took me, it took like a lap to chase back after that, which was pretty hard. Like, oh, don't get back to death. Um, okay. Basically, you're not allowed to drive, really. Barricading the back of the race. Yeah, it made life really hard. Like, oh, like yeah. you know the main one that we went yeah, over? Yeah, and yeah. then how we came yeah. back into the bit out, to yeah. the circuit, yeah. and we hit that other yeah, climb. I was like in all sorts of cramping and, and spitting and... If they make cabin night, we little one. Let's get out of here, Lex. Like, we got a lot to do tonight. Yeah, look, I want to talk about, obviously, this race. Well, we got a little bit of that good chat after the race, but honestly, guys, we can't do that with these race vlogs because this is the way it works. Everyone comes home, and it's just, you got to pitch in. Like, that's the way it works. So the lads have gone out and done, done a shot. Big, you got to turn all the bottles around. Uh, Seb and DVD have just been basically non-stop doing that since we came back. Now, we... We had a lot of, as you saw, we had a whole heap of mechanicals. No one thought, it's just the way it happens, right? Do we have a bucket load of spares or staff to fix it? No, we have the dudes who actually rode the race. So this bloke did a cracking job getting around this course today and now he's actually fixing our bikes. We had a few flats, um, so we're using some sealant to fill those. Um, Miller got run into from behind, so he has to straighten his rear wheel. Um, what else, we've just had rocks and rubbish all through the drive plane, so they've all been degreased and ready to be greased up again. About half a road's worth of tar stuck to every frame. We will be 100% ready to go tomorrow. Which is basically due to the fact that these lads just did it. Like, we came home, Taj, uh, Chris, 
Sam just pitched in and basically got it all done, right? So Angus is off trying to find a spoke key from uh, from MTOS at the moment. Hopefully that'll be able, he'll then be able to true the C40. Apart from that, guys, cracking day, like awesome days racing. We had a lot of bad luck, but um, end of the day, I think the rides were pretty good. I just want to quickly special mention to Taj and Sam who made their debuts today. I don't finish the race without Sam. You'll see it in the footage. After my mechanical, like we spent 40 minutes trying to get back in and he got me back. And I can tell you right now, Chris Powell isn't in a position to possibly sprint if that brake comes back without Taj, which has just been like, can't ask anything more than that. We'll see you tomorrow. It's a big day. It's got a big hill. Hey! Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi.